Did you hear the Chief Peak? And today we're gonna to be doing a 20 minute full body dumbbell workout. For this workout, we're gonna go through two supersets for two sets each. And then we're gonna follow that up with eight exercises for one set each. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 15 seconds. This workout also includes a warm up as well. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. We got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout. Now, our first exercise we're gonna go into is going to be body weight squats. What we're gonna do is get our feet about shoulder width apart, keep the back nice and straight, chest up, dropping down, coming up. There we go, dropping down, coming up. Down, coming up. Nice and easy, go at your own pace. During the warm up, you should be kind of taking an inventory of how your body feels so then you can adjust the weights or resistance as needed depending on how you feel. We've got alternating toe touch kicks here. So when I'm typically going through this or kind of in my pre-warm up, warm up, I'll kind of see what's feeling good, what's feeling bad and adjust the weights I use based on that. We've got trunk twist coming up next. Rotating at the core at first, and then as time passes, we'll start to rotate the hips and pivot the feet. It's nice and easy here. We got RDLs next. So slide bend in the knees, hinging at the hips, feeling those hamstrings stretch out, coming back up. We go bent over rotations. So we're starting here, up and up, back down. Chest openers, slide in the elbows, pulling the chest open. <clears throat> After this, we got a 20 second break before we get into the workout. Like to go a little high and low with mine. We go 20 seconds. We're going into thrusters. Thrusters is pretty much just a squat with a shoulder press. So I'm going to use a single uh, 35 pound dumbbell. So I have 25s, 35s, and 45 pounder. We're going to rack it right here, hold it. You can put one arm out. We're going to drop down as we come up, get the shoulder press. Just like that. If you don't want to have your arm out, you can have it closer in. What we'll do is we'll switch at 20 seconds. Let's get one more and switch. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Here we go, we got RDL to shrug. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab my second 35, bust out an RDL, get the shrug. Make sure when you're doing shrugs, we're not pulling our head down. So coming down and out. Remember, slide in the knees. As we come down, we're sinking the butt back. Oops, I think I forgot to get the shrug. <laughs> There we go. Make sure you bring the shoulders up and not the head down. There we go. Going back in to thrusters. It's our second set here. Just a single. Start off in that rack position. Here we go, squat, come up, press. So we can use 
a little bit heavier weight than we might for normal shoulder press because we're using the momentum from the squat to help press it up. Switch. We got another. Here we go. Already yelled a shrug. Grab some water real quick. Let's get ready. Coming down, stretch it. Come up, shrug. There we go. Come on. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. We got one more RDL for sure. Oh yeah. 20 seconds. We got push-ups coming up. So if you can't do push-ups, you can do a chest press. <clears throat> so for chest press, also with the dumb or push-ups, if you want, you can do your push-ups on your dumbbells to get greater range of motion. <laughs> chest press is gonna be here, pushing up, bring them together, back down. There we go. Just like that. I'm gonna do push-ups on my next set. I prefer push-ups to chest press because I can get that greater range of motion. I'm limited right here because my arms hit the ground. In reality, I'd like my hands to come, or the dumbbells, to come down to my chest a little further. We got a single arm. Dumbbell row. So we're gonna be trying to work our core here a little bit. I'm actually gonna use the heavier weight here, my 45. We're gonna stand here. Just like this, come up and down. Up and down. So kind of use the core here. If you want, you can try to do, do it without bracing your uh, back right here like this. Really work the core. Switch sides. Palm is facing the body the entire time here. There we go. Going into push ups. Here we go. Coming down and up. Down and up. If you want, you can kind of lightly touch the chest to the ground. Come up. Make sure that your hands are more at the bottom of the chest versus at the top of the shoulders like this. We don't want that. We want this. You drop to the knees. Make sure you have the same thing. You shouldn't be doing push-ups like this. Nope, even on the knees, we're still here. There we go. Back in a single arm rows. Feel the sweat coming. <clears throat> it's always after the push-ups. Remember to tighten the core here. Come up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, oh yeah. Let's get one more and switch. Switch it up. Oh. 
come on. One more. 20 seconds. We got clean with a press. Single dumbbell. I'm gonna use a 35. We're gonna do a full clean here with a press. Doesn't have to be a squat clean. Here we go. So single dumbbell, dropping down, come up, press, back down. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. If you need to press with the legs, totally fine. Oh. Switch it. Come on. There we go, squat with curls. I'm gonna use my 35s, heavier than usual here. That's what we're going for, heavier than usual. We're gonna be using momentum of the squat to help us. So, dropping down, as we come up, curl. So it's kind of all, one movement, we're not coming here waiting, dropping down, coming up, waiting, curling. It's one smooth movement. If the dumbbells come down, we drop into that squat. Whew. As we come up, we start to curl. And we can cheat up a little bit of heavier weight. If you want a hammer curl, you can. <clears throat> Woo! Dropping down 25s here. We got lying tricep extension with legs raised. It's gonna be a fun one here. So we're gonna be here. Legs out, coming up over the head, back down. If the leg raise is too tough, just hold it here, that's fine. Or you can just try to do it like this and then slowly creep the legs out till you can't hold it. Or until you feel, I guess, you can hold it the whole time. Come on. Here we go. Kneeling shoulder press. I'm gonna go a little heavier here. So it's gonna really take the legs out of it. Only a single dumbbell. Right here. Let me tell. Come back down. I have the 35 right here. We get one more and switch. We're gonna get one after one after the bell here. Took a little long on that switch. One more. Ah. Going back to my twenty-five. Single 25 here. Turkish side, crunch left side. We're gonna be on our right side for this. Right leg is gonna be out, left leg bent. Right arm out, right here. Coming up, squeeze up. So we might use this arm just a little, but really we're trying to focus right here in the obliques. Try to get that shoulder over here off the ground. Focusing here. There we go, switching sides. So, 
Left leg is straight, right leg bent, left arm out. <laughs> Simon says do all that. Here we go. Focusing on the obliques over here. That's why I'm saying trying to get the shoulder up. Because if you just kind of go like this, you don't feel much. Even if you have to use this arm a little bit, that's when you feel it. Try to get that little hold. Oh, yeah. All right, we got DB swings. Here we go. Let the fun begin. I'm gonna grab a 45, single dumbbell here. I'm gonna hold it in a single hand. Right here, I'm up. Hinging at the hips. We're not going like this. Nope. Hinge at the hips and then extend through the hips. Switch it up. There we go. Alternating plank press out. <clears throat> Can't use any weight. It's totally fine. Just tap. This is a tough one. Put the dumbbell right in front of us. We're going to get in plank. Grab the dumbbell. Bring it out. Tap. Come back. Switch sides. Out. Come back. If you can't do this, I just want you to tap. Try not to let your butt lift too high. I know it's tough. There we go. We are finished. Alternate hip flexor stretch. Do right here. Dropping down, sink the hips to the front heel. Do a nice stretch, come back up. Switch sides. Oh yeah. It's my favorite stretch right here. We'll do a couple sets of this before the workout, before we film every day. Go, Cossack squat. Get our feet nice and wide. We're gonna drop into a squat. Go left and right. So down here, come in right, and then left. Let me spread our feet out a little bit. So I'm staying nice and low. Feeling all my joints crack now. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. Try not to bend over too far. If you are hinged at the hips, don't bend at the lower back. Down dog with calf stretch. So, on the hands and feet, I hang my feet off the end of my mat. And then, pushing one calf down at a time, one heel down at a time. Oh, mat's a little slick. Make sure you're pushing through the shoulders too. You shouldn't be like this, doing it. You should be down here. There we go, we're going into child's pose, to cobra pose. So we get here. Drop back. Come forward. Exhale. 
I'm back. Don't laugh at how inflexible I am. I know I am. Here we go. Deep squat set. This is my favorite. Feet shoulder width apart. Just gonna drop down into a squat. Here we go. And then we're just gonna hold it. What I like to do here is take my elbows, put them into the inner legs, and then hands together. Then you can see I push the legs apart. Try to sink deeper. Another option. Toes up under, or fingers up under the toes. And then from here what I'm trying to do is I'm pulling, trying to sink my butt deeper into the squat. There we go. We are finished for the day. Come up nice and slow. There we go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. See you guys.